Sony's been a bit busy with their on-camera microphone accessories lately. This one here is called the ACM G1. It's an on-camera external microphone that's their entry-level offering, which for the most part sounds extremely unremarkable, but this one manages to set itself apart by being remarkably small in an era when on-camera microphones are already considered to be extremely small and extremely light. This one here weighs just over 30 grams. Now, despite being the entry-level model, this makes full use of the multi-interface shoe, meaning no cables required and no batteries required. Just put it on your camera's hot shoe and the mic is live and ready to go. But then again, if you wanted to use this with a camera that doesn't necessarily have an MI shoe, for example, if you wanted to say use this mic with a non-alpha camera, you could still run this mic off plug-in power using a TRS to TRS cable. But an interesting behavior you'll come across when you connect the G1 to a compatible alpha camera body through the MI shoe is you're completely locked out of all your audio settings and that includes the microphone input level. The mic is on full auto. You cannot do anything to it. If you're using it as a plug on and forget microphone as a means to upgrade the internal mic capsules on your camera body, so at least it's coming from a bigger capsule on an external module, then that's fine. Just plug it on and forget about it. You'll never set your audio levels too high or too low. But if you're like me and you like to keep your audio levels at a consistent level, or if you're just a bit of a control freak really like me when it comes to technical things like this, then even though I'm using it on a compatible body, this is being shot on the Alpha 7 Mark IV, I've still elected to use the 3.5mm cable to connect the microphone to the camera body. There are absolutely zero hardware toggles on the microphone body itself as well. No toggles, no switches, no volume dial. In a sense, it's a microphone that you cannot mess up. That's the Patronus house right there. It was only a month ago when Sony unveiled the ACM-B10, which was yet another on-camera microphone, that achieved its directionality through beamforming technology. The G1 takes a bit more of a traditional approach. It's just a super cardioid capsule sitting in the mic body, and that's what's giving it its rather incredible off-axis rejection, well, compared to the on-camera microphones anyway. So up until this point, I think you're quite familiar with what the mic sounds like. You've been listening to it the whole time. So I think I should probably let you listen to what it sounds like without. So here I've just unplugged the microphone. This is what the internal microphones on the A7 Mark IV sound like compared to this microphone. And here comes the fountain, so that's making a bit of noise. I've stepped away for a bit because I think the fountain view is a much nicer view compared to this, but there's some water sounds coming from the fountain and I think there's some thumping bass loud music coming from that bar behind me. You're still on the A7 Mark IV internal microphones, so now I'm gonna plug this back on and let's do a comparison between how well the internal camera isolates my voice compared to the G1. So this is now the ECM G1, still same loud music coming from this side, water sounds coming from this side. I assume, I can't hear anything I'm recording right now, but I assume the dialogue is a lot more intelligible in this version. Now here's a slightly more extreme off-axis rejection test. So the fountain's still not coming on, on for some reason, but it's kind of flowing. So you can hear a bit of watery white noise behind me as it's being picked up because the mic's pointing directly at it as well as my face. If I turn around and face away from it, that noise should be drastically reduced right now. And if I go full circle and have it back directly behind me again, that should be coming back. And in case you're wondering what this mic sounds like in an indoor controlled environment, this is what it sounds like in my studio. The air conditioning's on, I'm being framed up fairly close to the camera on a 24 mil. And honestly, I'm quite pleasantly surprised at how good this sounds for an entry level low cost offering. As I mentioned, there are no controls on this microphone. So it's a very, very simple and straightforward product. In that sense, I can't really find much to remark on it, except how incredibly small it is and how good it sounds for something this small. So this has been the Sony ECM G1. Links below for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed this quick review, maybe I'll catch you in another one. I've been uh, waiting all evening for the fountain to come on. 
they finally come on after like an hour when the sun set. Hmm.